small kettle land town is still on the road to recovery about a month after a tornado and powerful winds hit. Now, the storm tore through Burke on the night of August 6, damaging school buildings, homes, businesses, and more. Kelloland's Kelly Volk traveled to Burke to find out how one local business is moving forward. This now quiet piece of land used to be home to Burke Building Center, but that changed one August night. Pretty incredible. It was just uh, uh, all that go away in, in such a short time. And Vern Witt took ownership of the place in 1994. I was pretty comfortable in that location. And now he's getting settled into a new location. The longtime business owner is working on reopening a physical location in this former implement dealer in Burke. In the meantime, he can still provide other services, including taking orders and measurements. Plus, the family business has a Gregory location. People have been really good about going up there and getting what they need. Yeah, it is an inconvenience, but everyone has an inconvenience right now. So. City leaders are working on recovery, too. Mayor Tom Glover says most of the cleanup is done, but there's plenty of other work to do, including rebuilding the Civic Center. It'll be rebuilt in some, either back the way it was or maybe even a little bigger or something. We haven't decided that yet. But there's one thing even a tornado can't damage, the strength of the community. It just reaffirms why we, why we live in these small towns. Family members and and the community has really come together to clean up our, clean up our town and uh, get things back to some sort of a normal situation. So, yeah, I'm proud to be from Burke. Yeah. In Burke, Kelly Volk, Kelloland News. And Witt hope in, hopes to open the new location by the first of the year. The storm also delayed the school year in Burke. Students headed back to the classroom last week. We'll show you how the district is bouncing back in tonight's Eye on Kelloland.